we're going to calculate stall speed and uh, rotation speed and uh, also approach speed uh, but first we need to calculate stall speed to calculate stall speed we're going to derive that from the uh, um, lift equation so the lift equation is lift equals one half rho v square SCL where L is lift rho we know that is density air density V is air speed or velocity S is wing area which we calculated previously and CL is the coefficient of lift. In order to derive the uh, uh, equation for stall speed, we're going to make some assumptions. So when we uh, calculate stall speed, the we're going to calculate the uh, stall at 1g. At 1g meaning lift is equal or very close to weight. Okay, so we're going to assume lift equals weight or pretty close to weight. And this is at 1g, 1 times the acceleration of gravity. So we're going to replace weight uh, or lift by weight. So we have this lift equation here where lift equals weight to solve for uh, stall speed. So we have weight equals one half rho v square s c l, and this is at one g. Now we're going to solve for uh, stall speed. So we know that stall speed happens when c l is max. If we look at this CL versus alpha alpha or angle of attack and this is CL we have that this is when the stall happens this is when we reach CL max and this is at the critical angle of attack. So if we replace the lift with weight at 1g, now we're going to have, this is going to be my stall speed, and this is going to be CL max. Now we're going to isolate uh, stall speed, and that's going to be in true air speed. So stall speed, and this is going to be in true air speed is going to be now I isolate this so this is square right here so I'm going to take the square root I'm going to multiply by 2 over here so it's going to be 2 W over rho S C L max and all I did is I just isolated velocity from here so it's just the basic algebra and with this, I'm going to be able to calculate stall speed. We already learned how to calculate um, area of the wing. CL max is going to be given as the point uh, right here. And the weight is going to be given. And the uh, density is going to be given. So let's do one example. Okay, given the following, we have weight equals 6,524 pounds. We have density is going to be standard sea level density that is the uh, same as saying is 0 0.002377 slugs per feet. Cube. 
and we're going to have um, I'm just going to give you the uh, area of the wing which we calculated uh, before. It's going to be the same that we calculated before. It's going to be 158.8 square feet. But uh, I recorded an example that shows how to calculate the area of the wing. And uh, I think that's it. So now we're going to calculate Vs. So stall speed is going to be square root of 2w of rho s cl max. Actually, I did not give you cl max. So cl max, we're gonna have two cl maxes. One is going to be uh, cl max with no flaps. And that's gonna be 1.02, and that does not have any units and CL max with full flaps is gonna be 1.92. CL max with flaps is gonna be higher than CL max without flaps. So now we're going to calculate two different stall speeds, stall speed with no flaps and stall speed with flaps. Uh, usually with no flaps is for takeoff or flaps in the takeoff configuration and CL max and uh, stall speed for with full flaps uh, we're going to use it for landing or in the landing configuration so we're going to call vs1 is going to be stall speed with no flaps is going to be square root of 2w over rho SCL max, and that is gonna be the square root of two times 6,524 pounds, divided by rho, that is 0.002377 slugs per feet cube, times S, that is 158.8 feet cube, times CL with no flaps, that is 1.02. And that is going to give me 184 Point one, and this is going to be in feet per second. We have feet cube is going to uh, cancel each other out with one foot, and we have slugs that is pound per foot per second, and so this is going to give you the units for this is going to be feet per second. But for velocity in an airplane, feet per second doesn't mean much to me because the uh, airspeed indicator is in knots. So I have to convert this to knots by divided by 1.69 feet per second in a knot. So we know that one knot is 1.69 feet per second. Okay, very good. And this is going to be 108.9 knots. Okay, so that's going to be VS1 uh, sole speed without flaps. So VS2 or V sole speed with full flaps. We use the same formula, square root of 2w over rho s c l max, but this one is going to be with full flaps, it's going to be 2 times 6,524 pounds, divided by 0 0.002377 slug per feet cube times 158.8 feet cube times C 
see a max with full flaps is going to be 192, 1.92. And then don't forget to take the square root. And that is going to be 134.2 feet per second. And then I have to divide by 1.69 feet per second in a knot. And that is going to give me 79.4 knots. Okay. Okay, now uh, to calculate, we're going to calculate rotation speed. It's going to be 1.05 times VS1. Again, VS1 is going to be no flaps or take a configuration and the ref that is going to be approach speed is going to be 1.25 times vs2 and this is going to be a landing configuration or full flaps now we're going to uh we can calculate rotation speed and approach speed uh, using those numbers. For rotation speed, we're going to multiply 1.05 times VS1 and VS1 is 108.9 knots and that is going to give us one 14.34 knots, and that's going to be VR rotation speed. For VREF, or approach speed, is going to be 1.25 times VS2, and VS2 is 79.4 knots. So VS2, or approach speed, is going to be 99.25 knots.